I turned Mr. Beast into a Flappy Bird game. Let's go! But in order to create a Mr. Beast game, I had to do a couple things. What did you say? Who are you and why are you in my basement? I'm a lawyer. Can't you tell by my suit? That checks out. Did you not say you were going to make a game about Mr. Beast? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't say that. Because if you do, we will sue you for everything you're worth. I definitely didn't say it then. Carry on. As I was saying, in order to create a Mr. Beast Flappy Bird game, I'm still here. Anyway, you're probably asking yourself, why make something that's already been done before, you know? Isn't there like an original idea out there instead? F that noise. Instead, let's just do something that's already worked and just make really small changes. And by already worked, I mean this guy was making like $50,000 a day at one point. Give me some of them fat stacks. Show me the money! Now, in order to make a Mr. Beast Flappy Bird game, I first had to figure out how to make Flappy Bird. Turns out there's a bunch of videos online about creating a Flappy Bird game, so this should be really, really easy. Just kidding, because the only easy thing around here is your mom. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> So Flappy Bird by itself is a relatively straightforward game. You have a 2D bird that passes by some pipes, and every time it does, you get a point. The movement for these sprites is pretty easy, and I can add a collider in between the pipes, which will signal that a point was received. The main gameplay mechanic within Flappy Bird is two pipes that spawn at random heights on your map. And as you make it through these pipes, you earn a point. Now, getting these pipes to move is relatively easy. Using transform.position, we are able to have our pipes move from right to left while the game is active. When you add a box collider to the pipes, our little Flappy Bird will no longer be able to sneak through. Now, we can't have infinite pipes already pre-populated in our game or our PC will literally try and light on fire and the game just won't run. So instead, we create an empty game object that will exist just outside our main window. We will write our code to spawn these pipes at specific intervals and varying heights. This will ensure that there is a constant flow of pipes for the gamer to dodge. Then, after a few seconds, the pipes will be destroyed to avoid our computers from exploding. What the f***? This looks so bad. <laughs> With a little more fine tuning, we now have a functioning pipe spawner. But without the ground moving, this game looks like absolute hot garbage. First, we need to extend the size of the ground so that we can use a simple animator to move it from right to left. We can also set it to loop so that it creates a very clean repeating loop. And with these small changes, it's actually looking like a real game. And that's literally it. We, we have a floppy bird game. How the f*** was this guy making $50,000 a day? For those who do not know who Mr. Beast is, he's this like relatively small YouTuber. I mean, he's only got like 156 subscribers. Uh, I think the M stands for men. So, you know, a lot, of, a lot of dudes. And because I have over 600 subscribers and some of them aren't dudes. Nice. I decided the least I can do is help him get some exposure. You're welcome, Mr. Beast. My first prototype of a Mr. Beast inspired Flappy Bird game involved borrowing a logo. And, you know, maybe some colors that don't mean much. Uh, you know, maybe an image or two. Okay, yep, those are now mine. And from there, I had to use my superior game development skills and, you know, code it out and, and, and make sure the sprites change the new ones. It, it's not easy, you know? Wow. But like any simple game dev project, something will go wrong that will take me way longer to fix than I care to admit. For example, every time I push play, my updated logo disappears, and I have literally no idea why. So, yeah, that that's great. Okay, so every time I'd press play, the character would disappear. And I literally thought, oh, maybe the layers got messed up, so I changed those, and that wasn't it. And so I just kept messing around it, and then I finally realized that I'm actually just a full-blown dumb person. Uh, because I had the animator on it still, it was trying to switch to the Flappy Bird you know, the one I had set up before, but I, I didn't set that up for this new logo. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just a dumb person. And I spent 25 minutes trying to figure this out. So yeah. When I finally pulled my head out of my butt, I was able to get a functioning game, change a few sprites, and we are now rolling. It's so crazy when people just, you know, take an existing idea and then make these like small changes. Like, can you not come up with like an original idea? Like, come on, c come on, come on guys. Be, be original. Yeah. Since only a couple of dudes are following Mr. Beast, just using his logo and stuff wouldn't help him gain any followers at all. So back to the drawing board we go. Now how can I make it Mr. Beast related, but also have a little more kick? 
There must be something here I can use for inspiration. Hmm, something. Aha! Perfect. This video had 428 men watch it. Good job, Jimmy. Plus, if I rip off both Squid Games and Mr. Beast, there's literally no way they can sue me. Wait, did you say Squid Game? Me? No. Did you? Do you seriously want to be sued for everything you're worth? Joke's on you. I'm not worth sh**. We need to start making some changes to the game to make it more Squid Game related. This won't be easy as it's going to take a lot of time and effort to change all of the different sprites and the background and, and all this stuff. We also need to make sure that Mr. Beast is properly represented. Move it over to Squid Game Buddy. Wow. Now, in order to create the ultimate Mr. Beast game, I had to go back to the beginning. And I mean way back. Back to when Jimmy was Mr. Beast 3000 and Danny actually uploaded videos. Danny, seriously, where, where are you? Are you ever coming back? Back when saying Logan Paul 100,000 times was grade A content. Logan Paul, 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 Logan Paul. After borrowing a couple of these thumbnails, I decided to create a Mr. Beast collage, creating the ultimate Mr. Beast inspired flappy bird game ground sprite thing. If this isn't the best crossover you've ever seen, then you're wrong. Creating a background image is nice and easy, but I have one last thing we need to add. And this is of course the creator of Flappy Bird himself. And he shall be our son because he guides us. I present to you a completely original game that isn't a ripoff of anything in any sort of way, not even a little bit, so there's literally no way I can be sued. Presenting Mr. Flappy Beast. And if you want to play it, just go to itch.io slash internetgav. Subscribe or your butts will explode.